Right, so this week I picked up a cheap chainsaw off eBay and we're going to make it work again. So the first thing we need to do is to get all the oil and grime and stuff off. So I'm going to use blue rag and a bit of white spirit just to help thin it all down a bit. It's like soot. So uh, I think this spark plug's been not sealed for properly at some point. Right, so, to get rid of old fuel, because I've got horrible suspicion that this is very old. I'm pretty sure that is meant to be clear. But. It is right. It's not going to be this colour, is it? Okay, so new fuel. Um, the old fuel that came out looks like this, which is lube for the chain. Uh, so we're going to put the nice pink stuff in. And we're just going to put a little bit in, just so that I can swill it out. Oops. Quite a lot in. But I'm not going to start it anytime soon. And it will help protect the bench. Like world splatter. Anti splatter. Oh, it already looks cleaner. Okay, so in the pot is the fuel out of the chainsaw. Let's see how smoky or flammable it actually is. <laughs> so the answer is it's not that flammable because that's a burning, oh, there it goes. Burning rag in it and it's not catching fire much. Well, it is just just about. So the video is going to seem a little bit out of order at this point and that's because I tried taking it apart in the wrong order. So I've edited it together in a way that you should take the parts off rather than the order that I actually tried to take the parts off. So some things magically reappear temporarily.
Aku tetap tangan kan? I'm gonna give this a wash in a soapy bucket of water. Um, but I'm not gonna make you watch it, so. Oh, it's tight. That should come out with fingers. There we go, that's good there. Yeah. Looks like someone tried to pull it with the fuel in it that was in there, slash pure oil. Oh, oh. There we go, someone's threaded the spark plug. It would appear. A de at the bottom there, there's a definite crossing of threads. So, uh, we'll see what we're going to do about that, see how easy it is to change. Might be able to repair it with a tap, but I might not, and therefore we might have to put a little insert into it. So, but for now, we're going to see if we can get it started. So let's put it back together in a very quick kind of... I was missing a note here, I didn't see. That was so much. Let's put some fuel in it and see if it starts. See how it does with fresh fuel. So, we now go outside. So I've heard these can be a bit of an ass to start. So, that's on, that's on. Put your thing apart. Thank you. Just look that up. Oh, come on up. It's spitting out a fair old whack of oil, but I think that might be from the really oily fuel that was in it. I've just been clearing out the pipeline. So, on the basis this hasn't run for a good long time for the fuel to be in that state, I am pretty happy. And now I should be able to pull a stroke. That's pleasing. <coughs> need to find a thing to cut. So for a 50 quid chainsaw off eBay, I think I got away fairly lightly with a bit of light cleaning and 
swelling out with a bit of fresh fuel. The only real issue was that threaded spark plug and that was a fairly easy fix by taking it out and putting it back in again. So anyway, if you like that sort of video, then please remember to like and subscribe. I do a whole range of random things that I fix or repair or make. And I will see you next week.